always a pleasure being at the other end of a long table with you, James. I'll start you off with an easy one. Um, what would your advice be for your teenage self? Um, unbelievably, probably believe in yourself a little bit more. Right. Back yourself. Okay, um, you're low on confidence, aren't you? Very low on confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think as well, some probably invest in Apple. Invest, um, yeah, yeah. Bitcoins. All Bitcoins, all the yeah. Above, Bitcoins yeah. Maybe in Apple. James Haskell, the brand. I wouldn't have invested would in you that. Would you not? That, no. That, no, no, I probably would have slowed that <laughs> really, down. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what is your pet hate? <sighs> My pet hate is being slapped really hard on the bottom. Um, it's something that just rouses the most amount of anger out of me. And it seems to be something that everybody loves doing at rugby clubs. So they give you a massive whack on the bum, thinking they're geeing you up. It actually really, really angers me. I, I honestly known you for about 15 years. And I did. Yeah, know but because that. you have to wear it, you see, because it's everybody loves doing it. It's sort of like pat you on the bum. But when they get a bit overzealous and start whacking you, it's, yeah. I, I would have said road rage. Incompetent drivers is Incompetent quite drivers, yeah. Every time I call you up on the phone, it's always like, yeah, how's how you doing? Well, get out of the way, mate! And then you're back on the phone. <laughs> I think that's just testament to how long I'm spending in the car right, at the minute. Fine, but, okay. Yeah, no, lovely. What job would you have if you weren't a rugby player? Ooh, I'd like to think I'd be working in TV or film. Yeah. Either well, you've yeah. had a few dabbles in film as well. We have, we dabbled in that early on. Yeah. Um, I would either be in the SAS or driving a digger as well. Right, okay. Driving a digger, yeah, no, I've seen that, I've seen that. You were the dump truck man, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have some uh, fun. Uh, right, uh, how long would you last the ring with Anthony Joshua? I was going to ask you that one. The thing is, I've just got the shortest, shortest reach. So I just wouldn't be able to get close to the man. But um, yeah, not very long, I don't think. I'd be sort of scuttling around, trying to tackle him or trying to sort of get in close to him. But I think he's just a phenomenal athlete, isn't he? Um, I know you've probably met him, have you? I have actually yeah. met him, yeah. yeah so give us, a, give us a little bit of insight. Oh, he's a lovely guy. Lovely guy, very polite. Yeah. Um, took the mick out of me for my appearance on League of Their Own. Right. Um, saying that I can't believe I got angry with that Andrew Flintoff and I had to explain to him that it was fake and if he kept laughing, I was going to have a fight with him <laughs> and then he just laughed in my face again. So. Right. Yeah, so I think the answer is not very long with right. Anthony Joshua. I'm surprised you wouldn't just drop the head on him, would you? Well, I'd try to, but the, the only way that that's the element of surprise. <laughs> you try and discombobulate. <laughs> <laughs> Rattle him, kicking the jiff lemon him in the eyes, yeah. kicking the ball, and then throwing kicking him the, the shin. Roof. Yeah, exactly. Right. What is your secret talent? Well, I've got a couple, Paul. Yeah, well, I know, I know a couple. Some of we can talk about, some we can't. No, I know. I can DJ. Yeah. I can do that. You um, can DJ well, actually. You did at my wedding recently. I did actually. Yeah, we did do that. Uh, it wasn't actually a big, like it wasn't an event. Like I wasn't doing like mobile smoke machine, three traffic lights, and uh, yeah, you know, and people knee sliding. The on buffet. The, <laughs> the buffet is now open. I'm too sexy. <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. Um, what else is it? Good talents. I can drive. I can actually drive a digger really well. There's something else I can do that people are always. You've been astounded. getting into this for magnet fishing. Magnet fishing. Yeah, tell us about that. What well, was going I pulled, on? I pulled a World War II bayonet out of the river the other day. Yeah, where are you doing this? What rivers? Were well, I would want to tell too many people exactly where it is in case they turn it, up because right. I had this old deer turned up. Okay. Like, oh, hello, what have you got there, dear? Got a safe, <laughs> have you, dear? Um, and tell us, what, what, so you you get the premise of it is you get an industrial strength magnet, do you? Yeah, I mean, you probably, uh, like, you go early learning centre to start with, but I went straight in top end. I said, listen, if it ain't coming on the back of a lorry, I don't want to know. <laughs> um, so I've got sort of the Mega Pool 5000, which is pulling Lovely. out boats out the river. Uh, I pulled a, a safe out the river, but sadly it had been drilled. Need um, so, right, okay. Otherwise, if I'd had any cash in it or any diamonds, I wouldn't be here with you, Paul. If we were stranded on a desert island, who would last longer out of you and I? I it's going to be a difficult one because we're both quite practical. Right. I think what would do you down is just the level of smugness. You think he knew everything. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, Smug. yeah, just as I was like actually assembling like the shelter or doing stuff, you would be going, oh, James, well, if you did this, the chemical reaction with the sun will turn that into water. <laughs> you know, we're doing this. Oh, what you want to do, Hask, is get a bit of pine because that's more resilient to, you know, and I'd be like, oh, well, I've assembled the house, Paul. It's already you're, too late. You're we're still in. Telling, you're still okay. telling me about it. Okay, but I reckon you reckon we'd survive together because we'd work together. Do you? I think we would. We'd probably be all right, wouldn't we? I think we, to be honest, I'm not being funny. I reckon we survive and probably set up some sort Dominant. of travel hotel. Recolonise. <laughs> we'd re <laughs> we'd recolonise with the locals. Yeah, right? incredible. We would That'd set up a business fun. and people would be coming to stay <laughs> at our paradise desert island resort. Yeah, You dreams. and I would be management and that'd be it. Yeah, dreams. Um, Actually, we're probably going to release this next year, aren't we? Yeah, probably yeah, that will be coming. Uh, Haskell and Dosner Enterprises. Um, in 30 years' time, who will look better, you or me? Well, I mean, I'd like to think that I will look... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd like to think I'm doing all right at the minute, but yeah. I've had an awful lot of work. So yeah, you know. that's my one concern. Is the facade is going to be great, but the yeah. back end? Yeah, well, it's like, a, like it's like, it's a, it's like a grade one listed building, <laughs> mate. It's all the frontage is is impeccable. But I'm worried that it's all the going foundation, to crumble out the back. The foundations below are <laughs> subsided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. all sorts. There's all I sorts going on. I haven't bolted anything onto this. This no, is not pretty yet. rugged. Yeah, pretty we've got a full plan in place. Yeah, so we have. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably just do the lid. The lid's going to get probably. What's like that film face off in it? They just go sort of. <laughs> well, just this, take this the potato head yeah. and we just stick some yeah, new ears I like on. that. I like that. I, I'd like to think that I've, I've looked after the No, the incredibly rig. well, And I think yeah. what I would like to do is disappear to LA post-rugby for sort of a, a six to seven month full rebuild. Yeah, you but know? you'd end up looking like a Louis Vuitton handbag or something, a leather. Yeah. Just like really, really yeah, swarthy. Yeah, yeah, as opposed to the Chesterfield sofa that you look like now. <laughs> just slightly so <laughs> tight and just First. slightly packed in there with like, bolts just <laughs> cre creaking. Yeah, um, it's decent. Okay. One more. Who would you play in a movie of your life? Chris Hemsworth. Um, <laughs> not that I thought about it. Um, Chris Hemsworth. I think it'd just best be him, maybe. You know, I, I don't. I th I'm not. Remind who? Chris, remind me. I'm all for stuff like this. Oh, right, yeah, okay, yeah, he's a, yeah. I would have thought. Handsome it, man. Yeah, handsome man, bigger rig day. Did you ever meet him? He was in. Um, used to stay in Penny Hill a lot, didn't he? Did he? Yeah. I didn't yeah. meet him. Do you remember the time we met Will Smith together? Yeah, a long time ago. We rattled him, didn't we? Yeah, 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 a long, long we, time We ago. met Will Smith and um, he was like, hey man, really good to meet you both. And he went, well, you're a big guy. And I went, thanks very much, Will. It's actually, um, I've got an overactive thyroid. It's actually like a disability. So thanks for making fun of me. He went, man, are you serious? I'm so sorry. Like, <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding. We do work out. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Will. <laughs> he, 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 didn't he didn't take it that well. That no, well. I mean. Never listen. mind, eh? He was a very nice guy. Yeah. Uh, I think Chris Hemsworth. Um, okay. I'd ask you the same, the same question. I would have said Ronnie Corbett, but he sadly <laughs> passed away. He doesn't, yeah. Ronnie. So, what? so what you're basically saying is it needs to be a short, fat bloke, is it? Yeah. Like a Ricky Gervais-esque. Ricky Gervais. Yeah, with his dancing, very similar, isn't it? Yeah, tan. Yeah. Get Ricky Gervais Do you know what? Tan. He's come good, though, Ricky. He's sort of lost a bit of yeah, weight, trimmed up. Oh, trimmed oh. up. He's funny. He's niche. He is. I wonder, oh, Peter Kay. <laughs> Slim Peter Kay. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> Listen, I will take Peter Kay because he's funny right. as well. All right, all right. As well, good. Yeah, right, yeah, we'll leave right, it there. Right. We'll leave it there. Because Gabby yeah. and Thing are coming in. Yeah.